Yes, we did. It's more prolonged rotation. Since we've got a cold front now, these storms have been pole storms and they are going severe. Um, non severe, right there. This is the cell we're watching, but now we have a new cell that's beginning to fire right over here. Now, these cells really kind of move in place. And okay, we now have a new severe thunderstorm warning, I believe, out for this is correct Fairfield County. So, Fairfield County just seen this live new severe thunderstorm warning out for them with this storm that has been holding itself together. And drifting southeast very slowly until 5:45. Apparently, we have a new severe thunderstorm warning. Now we're watching this development. These, this thing flared in literally no time. And uh, watch this. It goes from nothing to something very, very fast. So these could be impacting us. But notice they're getting some fast shear. A lot of these storms are thriving on daytime heating. So. A lot of times this will probably go south, and we'll have to watch these carefully. We now have a severe thunderstorm warning issued for New Haven County until 6.30 p.m. That's that storm we saw over there. We got more severe weather coming in. And these storms, they're slow to move. They may eventually move in, but uh, we have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 6.30 p.m. this afternoon. Uh, you know, these storms are really kind of, not so much training, but just staying put right where they are, but they are producing an intense amount of rain, lightning, and yes, hail. We've had reports, and I thought there's some hail in there, because. is a little bit uh, greenish colors. Now they're not going to move in. A lot of the rain, we're getting some few drops of rain right now, but this is mainly stratiform rain. This isn't the heavy convective stuff that we are getting into. And that's why I think we might not really get this storm so bad because, you know, a lot of the, the storms, they're hitting some uh, more stable air as they try to move southeast. But we do, where these storms are in the heavy convective areas, uh, these storms are really packing a punch here. We've had up to one inch hail reported, uh, especially in Fairfield County, another storm moves through. But these are still big lightning producers, so. So we might not get a whole lot. We have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for New Haven County until 6.30 p.m. This goes all the way down to the shoreline. We got some birds running kind of away here, like from the lightning and thunder, so. Oh my, that was big. We're just gonna leave it on photo. Very big lightning. Oh, I hope I got that. But we are seeing a lot of streaks. A lot of the leader. Whoa! That was huge. We're going to.
This has shown we just missed our little pinpoint Doppler, but we have some. It's slowly working in our direction. Now again, these are slow to move, so once it's here, it's going to stay here until it falls apart. But it, it, you know, I don't know if it's actually going to fully make its way in, but it is still a very strong storm. Very severe at the moment, but notice the rain hasn't really been making a heat storm. Get more lightning. Now I'm unsure whether this storm is actually going to make its uh, real presence here. We got some rain covering the ground, but yeah, there's storms pretty much everywhere. This is a whole cluster of big thunderstorms, very intense. Whoa. Looks like there's some heavier rain down across this way, so we'll keep an eye on that. Now we're going to take a quick look down to the north, because I mean we don't want to stay out too long. Looks like the heaviest rain is just over that area. It's hard to see, especially the way these storms have been moving. You know, it's hard to see where the, the real bad stuff is, and where just the, you know, the real bad stuff. Whoa! All right, we are seeing it all over. Storms, you know, a lot of the real bad stuff is in there. You can see a little bit of heavy rain, but it's very hard to see that heavier rainfall. Because we really get this storm, we're gonna get a lot of lightning, you know, big light show from this, regardless. You know, if we get the storm or not, we're getting a big light show. Thunderstorm warning has been extended, but you can see what's happening is I think we might miss out on just the moment that we'll still get very bad storm. But notice a lot of this is trying to trend more southerly. Of course, there's more instability right around here than there is here because we've been getting some rain. But, uh, you know, a lot of storms. This is a huge area of thunderstorm activity. You know, Prospect, Waterbury is way under the gun. We should take a look at the camp. Lightning shots before we really can't. I don't know if we're going to use it, but we opened up the second garage bay, which I don't really open up. We don't open up too often, but you see intense clouds over there. We've had real intense lightning. This storm does look like it's coming, the convection. Even though it might not be the heaviest, we're not going to get into that big hail. It's going to be pouring and plenty, as we already see in cloud to ground like cloud over there. I kind of want to check. Whoa! I kind of want to check really quick to see just what's going on up over there. I'm sure we'll see it eventually. Yeah, very close cloud to ground lightning strike. We may even go inside once this gets bad because it is getting really, really bad. So, oh, it's getting really bad. Whoa! Saw something down there. We're going to hear something loud soon. You know, some storms we can have blue light, less lightning we can watch, but I think uh, super impressive right here. Uh, up here, there's better views of lightning. Uh, this is really intense. You can see the sun probably shining off those low kind of shelf clouds. Uh, you know, from actually that direction, from behind us, from the south, where there are clear skies. So. That's why this is a very unique severe weather outbreak. We just saw a big lightning strike down there. Whoa! And that kind of dudded out. That was probably a failed strike. Whoa. These have lots of lightning. This is a very, very, very interesting sky because it's greenish. The sun is actually shining on those. Oh. Oh. Some wind. Whoa. This is one crazy thunderstorm. This may be hail. Are we getting hail? This is like June 9th all over again, so who knew we get two storms sort of like June 9th. So this is one storm. 
Wow, it still looks like it's going to get darker, too. It's going to go pitch dark in a few minutes. A wet microburst possibly coming. Major wet microburst. And hail possible, too. That's why we have that this Doppler radar showing the tornado vortex signature. Although I don't think we're going to get a tornado where we see the sky go dark at 6 in the afternoon. And this is an incredible storm. We haven't seen this before. I think for our own safety, we're going, we may stay inside. Because I'm fine watching this just right here. We'll go out when conditions feel safer. So, this is so bad that we're just... Yeah, that open. Well, because we want to watch a storm, but it's, uh, I don't know, it's getting a little... Uh... No, it's a little dangerous. All right. I'm... We may have some... What if we get hail? We may have some hail, and that's why the sky is green. Look at this rapid updraft flowing. I mean, watch out, man. There's been some rotation. And whenever you get, you know, rain this this heavy, I mean, I never thought we'd see a storm this bad. I mean, it's like nighttime again. We sway. So we will probably lose power. So this is probably the last we're going to see of radar. Um, you know, sometimes these storms could bring big hailstones. So, I mean, how often does it look like, you know, nighttime? Again, this is another incredible, incredible skyline here. I mean, this dark at this time of day, this may be even worse than the June 9th storms that we saw. When it starts pouring, we're, you know, there's a major microburst. This isn't even funny heading towards our area. Could be a wet microburst. This is, this is incredible. Let's, whoa. Whoa, we better hope that everything's good. There's some serious strong wind. The storm's not so bad here. We're gonna have to put the screen up, but this is, unlike anything I, I think I've seen, you know, You know, I mean, it's so pitch dark. You know, it's almost, it's only, you know, we've got another, like, two hours, more than, well, more than an hour left of daylight, I and mean, it looks like it's nighttime. It, it really does, I mean. This is darker than June 9th, and you think, oh, that was dark. Whoa! We are getting footage. And it's hard, because I'm... This is the worst. This is classic. This is bad. I mean, this is one storm. I mean, hail has been the big story today. So, you know, we've had one inch hail, which is a severe thunderstorm. I think we're going to get the winds too, in addition to the hail. I mean, I can see this but dark. I mean, it's black in a storm before hail. I mean, has it ever got... Whoa! will die down, it's getting later, but this is still an incredible storm. We're gonna watch for hail. Where it's just so dark and so much light in that, it kinda needs it. Uh, the microburst or heavy straight line winds has weakened, but and when a storm gets going, and it's gonna get going, this is really a lot of back building thunderstorms. I mean, Whoa! You know, the rain's just moderate rain right now, moderately heavy rain. 
but still, we are still seeing, I think it's going to go real heavy soon. Just consider that. 